Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We got five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile for words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 943, NASDAQ's up 269, S&P's up 107. That's a gain, folks, inside the Dow of 3.2%, inside the NASDAQ, 2.2%. Uh, Five inside the S&P's 2.6. Gold, gold contract down 390, trading at 16.73 an ounce. But silver off six cents, eighteen dollars eighty-eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck eighty-six, eighty-nine dollars thirteen cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down sixteen ticks, trading one ten thirty-one. The thirty-year off twenty-two at one twenty-four fifteen. And King Dollar, King Dollar is down uh, on nine hundred and seventy-two ticks, trading one twelve three fifty. The euro is at 97, the yen's at 147, the British pound is at 112 to 113 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? I got to bring the futures up first, man, because this is what, you know, longer term bottoms do get made out of, folks. My take is that you're going to get a big bounce out of this. I don't think that this deal is over because I, I do think we're going to... That 3,100 the S&P, but, you know, you can do some trading here, man. That's the bottom line. We get down to a price point, you can see, of 3,502, and <laughs> the bottom line is that we are 192 points above that. And the biggest number here is that we're inside the range again. So you, when you broke the June low, which was 36.57, uh, the bottom line gets you a different range. Guess what? It's saying, see ya, don't want to be a... I'm going higher. And what will happen, which is really cool, so check this out. This is how it's going to be laying out here. So I expect the, the, first, the first swing point is going to be so easy to take out. It's insane. You know, the first swing point only has 88 million shares. He's done 117 today. And now let me show you this, because there's no doubt this is what you have. You have high volume today, but let me show you what it's actually doing. What we've actually done is that on the weekly basis, you basically – Got under, and that was the benchmark that we've been talking about, the June seventh, the week of June 17th. That's the 262. So picture this. You had there 645 million shares traded. Well, it's Thursday. And thus far, folks, we only have 363, and that's counting today. So what you're going to get there, you're going to get a rejection of lower price. You're going to have lighter volume. So this says... Guess what? You can bounce all the way up to the top of that 431. That could be the consolidation. That'll blow some minds, but that's how this is set up right now. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. We go to the three Qs. We take a look at the three Qs, put those on a w weekly also. So we can see this. And this one here is just making it. That's what it comes down to. Um, so the benchmark here was at three, uh, 269. Oh, this is good. It's going now. It's beautiful, man. Uh, 269.28. We're at 270.14. On a weekly, it's 409 million. And thus far, you've only done 273. So the bottom line, you're going to get a rejection of lower price. You're going to have lighter volume. You've tested the low. Guess what? Next swing point, 334. And right now, you're at 270. Now, if that's where we're going, the bottom line is that you got to go over to the dollar because if that's where we're going, guess what? We know that the dollar's got to go downtown. So right now, we're down 969. Not bad, not great, okay? But bottom line, next swing point there gets you down to the 110. And what will be intriguing here is to see what the dollar, this is where we're going to get more information, which is pretty cool. So watch this. So... That trend line there is what? 112, no, 110. Okay, so on the dollar, folks, right? 110, ninth, 25 is a number that you want to benchmark. The reason being is this. If we get underneath that, guess what? The dollar will go all the way back into this 105 area, and that will basically 
give more oxygen into the marketplace to go to higher price. Now, the last thing you want to put together with this are the bonds. We go over to the bonds, you're going to see what the 10 year did because we know the correlation is absolutely direct. Bonds, currency, markets, okay? And we have here is that we'll have 2 million shares traded. There we go. We're going into the low. The low had 2.9 million. And we're not going to do it, man. So what does that say? This one gets really interesting because the 10-year the has been straight down since the 122. So if I just turn around and say, you know, okay, bottom line, let me have a 0.382. A 0.382 is 114, 111, you know. So I suspect it's all going to be going the right way. And the, the wild thing, you know what I think the wild thing is fundamentally, folks, is this. The CPI came in so hot that the market looked at the CPI. And the market in itself, okay, was thinking that, okay, yeah, we're going to, you know, basically go up 75 basis points uh, on the November meeting. We might go up 50 on the December meeting. And like, I think the market looked and says, you know what? We know you're going up 75 basis points in November. And if you go up 75 basis points in December, well, hold it. The market's supposed to be, you know, basically forward looking. They just start buying it, man. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. That's, that's how this th thing shake out. The cool thing here is this is the type of market that you can get a really cool bounce because it's got trashed so dramatically and then the turnaround was so fast. That's the type of markets, folks, that you can get a lot higher price. And what I expect we're actually going to see here, it's just not going to be, you know, you're going to have commodities move, you're going to have gold move, you're going to have silver move. That when you get down drafts like this and you get a flip around, the bottom line is that, uh, you know, most times you're going to see quite a bounce out here. And I, what I expect on, on the bounce um, is that, the you know, we'll get up to that first swing area and the real question is going to be, after that, you know, what do we get? Like on the Qs, I bet it's, you know, we're talking 290 and they're at 269 right now. So stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrial is up 915. NASDAQ's up 266. SP's up 104. We'll come right back. Mm -hmm. 